The Pevensey children waited for their train. Woo woo. A horn sounded. But this was not the train horn. It was a magic horn, calling the children. In a flash, the Pevenseys were in a magical land. It was Narnia. Narnia was an amazing place. Animals could speak. Trees could dance. And time went by very quickly. The children had been here before. Once they ruled Narnia as kings and queens. Now Susan, Peter, Lucy, and Edmund were in Narnia once again. They were by a sparkling sea. The Pevensies played in the water. Then they stopped to look around. The children saw an old castle. I wonder who lived there? Lucy asked. I think we did, said Susan. Care Paravel, said Peter. That was the name of their old castle. The Pevensies went inside. They found their old clothes and other things they had left behind. Care Paravel used to be beautiful. It was once full of life. But now it was different. Where were the magical creatures? Lucy thought of her old friends. They're all gone, she said sadly. The children had to find out what was going on. The Pevensies reached a river. Suddenly, they saw someone in trouble. Soldiers had a dwarf tied up. Drop him, said Susan. She drew her bow and arrow. The soldiers dropped the dwarf and ran away. The dwarf was named Trumpkin. He was a Narnian. Peter helped him to the shore. I'm King Peter, he said. You're the kings and queens of old? Trumpkin said. We were hoping for someone who could help us. To prove his skill, Edmund challenged. Trumpkin to a sword fight. Before the dwarf could move, Edmund had won. Beards and bedsteads. Trumpkin said in surprise. Maybe these really were the old kings and queens. Trumpkin told the children what had happened since they left. Telmarines came, he said. These greedy humans had invaded Narnia. The evil Telmarine ruler wanted to be king. He wanted to rule all of Narnia and its creatures. The only hope for Narnia was the ruler's nephew, Prince Caspian. Caspian was a kind Telmarine. But Prince Caspian was in trouble. His evil uncle wanted to get rid of him. So Caspian had run away. Caspian was the one who had sounded the magical horn for help. It was up to the Pevensies to find Prince Caspian and help him save Narnia. Trumpkin agreed to help. So they set off on their adventure. Their task would not be easy. Many things had changed in Narnia. But Lucy, Susan, Edmund, and Peter would still do anything. For this magical land they loved so much.